Okay, so tell me why the Pride and Glory story was so compelling to you both. Um, no, go ahead, take that. Seriously? Yeah, you. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I just, I, I was attracted to it, not only because he was doing it. That was the first time that I knew about it, and um, and I, I felt like it was, it was films. It was like films being told in the '70s, with you know, Lumet and Coppola, and I said earlier, like you know, these guys, these guys were making heavy films, you know, where it's, it was just emanating off the screen, and, I, and so I, that's what attracted me to it. It's just yeah, just a good script. It's a really solid script, and, and Gavin and Joe Carnahan, who wrote it, Gavin directed it, um, just designed really interesting characters, and and. Uh, yeah, g gorgeous concept. I mean, you know, a, kind of a timeless story now, one that w a genre film that we're all very aware of. We've seen them before, corruption within a police department. But uh, just w it, what seemed to me to be a very truthful rendering of it, you know, and, and Gavin having the background that he has. His father was a cop in the NYPD, so I know Gavin felt this kind of familial obligation to tell the story as truthfully and as rawly as he could, and, um, and I think he did that. And the character of Jimmy was just wicked, you know, so there was nothing I'd... I'd kind of um, explored before so and how did you guys research for these roles in terms of understanding the challenges that police have to go through out there on the streets well, we did about a month and a half prior to this we, we travel around with a, with, a, with a unit a, sp a specific unit called a snoo unit um, there on these are undercover guys on the street narcotics guys and they were amazing they were, they were all open to us and tell us their stories and let us you know travel around with them and we did all the no. Yeah, just just that. I mean, you know, oh, we did go. Did we go and shoot guns and all that kind of mm. nonsense as well? Which you know, I don't think we ever shot a gun in the film, did we? No, not really. <laughs> but you know, you you just do things, and and they're different from anything that you would be experiencing in your everyday existence. And so they kind of I don't know if they separate you from yourself, but they they allow you to to tinker around with with. Uh, yeah, just we, it, you create memories as well with each other. You know, we, as he said, we were six weeks before we started shooting, doing bits and pieces, and spending time with cops, and they were all incredibly generous with us. And just by symbiosis, you know, being around those boys, you start to just watch how they move, and even the mundanity of what they do. Like it, it is incredibly dangerous the jobs that they have and, and how they spend their lives a lot of the time. But it's also incredibly boring as well for them, you know, and, and uh, various other times. It's probably preferable. <laughs> Colin, yeah. you got to play football with some of New York's finest. How was that? And did they haze you? That was, did they haze me? <laughs> did they haze, they battered me. They were kind of, no, they were all right. I mean, I thought they were going to be a lot worse. Uh, yeah, I spent about two weeks with the NYPD football team. Big bunch of bastards. <laughs> Scary big bunch of lads. Um, <laughs> but they were cool. And once I got my arse pads fitted, because I was playing a linebacker and I wasn't really up to stature, that was required. Uh, it was fun. He did all, all of that. That was no stunt double. All the tackling and everything. It that was, was good. all you? That was good crack. It was, yeah, yeah. That was a good challenge. And, and you, I mean, did you suffer any bruises or scrapes? You went head to, you know, toe to toe with Edward Norton. How was that? It was cool. I mean, I didn't work with that. I would have liked to have worked with them more. You know, the fight uh -huh. scene at the end. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was good, and that was that was very much in keeping. That scene was shot in keeping with the rest of the film, which was Gavin just trying to get things as real as possible. Sometimes when you bring stunt coordinators in to do fight scenes at times and with all due respect they're dead right they're very conscious of the actors being safe and it can get a little bit technical and Gavin wanted to go for that kind of more guttural feel to the fight uh, and just kind of let the two of us have at it and I have to comment it looks like you've uh, lost some weight can you tell me how you did it is it for a particular role a no I had lost a, a lot of weight for a thing I did a while ago about six months ago called triage I'd lost like 30 pounds lighter than I am now. So well, wow. And yeah. and how did you do it and, and do it Calorie safely? counting, just boring. Wor working out or just... It was no, 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 no. That's a deal breaker right there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no way. No, no. Just, no, just, just calorie diet. counting, just diet. Yeah, just nasty calorie counting and... Yeah, so... And I, and I want to ask you about this because um, there was a lot of talk about it. Um, you had an encounter on the beach uh, with paparazzi, and Mini Driver happened to be there. <laughs> and I was wondering if you could, if you could talk about that experience, and you know, h do you think they went too far? What do you think can be done? I have no idea. I have no idea. They're pain in the arse. That's all I know. But you know, they do what they do, and you do what you do, which is try and avoid them at all costs. And uh, yeah, just a, a hasslesome fact of life at this stage. And finally, what do you think the viewers are going to enjoy most about this film? Jay, that's what that's for you. <laughs> designed for you. All you. Um, I think that uh, they're going to enjoy the performances a lot. Uh, this guy especially, 
I just you know, and the city is the backdrop. I think it's and I think it's just a, I think it's a beautiful film. I, I mean, we're extraordinarily proud of it, man, to be a part of it. So yeah, I think I think uh, that's one of the best things. Top five, five, three things I've been involved in. He's only you know. done four things, so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> tough critic over here. <laughs> I had to actually kind of think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah.